Savo National Park, a sprawling canvas of over 8,000 square miles of open plains, palm-fringed rivers, and rough lava flows, and home to more than 60 species of large mammals. It is the ancient domain of the Big Five, the grazing ground for two-thirds of Kenya's wild elephants, and amidst the lush terrain of Mazima Springs, the home for 500 species of birds. Named for the Savo River that runs through it, it is made up of two parts, Savo East and Savo West. Located in southern Kenya, it is one of the largest wildlife sanctuaries in the world, haven to the continent's most magnificent species. But this great land, the second largest game park in Africa, is in crisis. Throughout all of Africa, threatened and endangered animals are being driven from their land, no longer welcome in places where they used to roam free and feed. This is primarily due to human encroachment, which has disrupted migratory patterns and destroyed breeding grounds. And sadly, these animals also face the constant threat of poachers. Since 1969, the International Fund for Animal Welfare or IFAW, has worked globally to protect animals and endangered habitats by developing solutions that benefit both animals and people. They call it Preserve and Protect. And now they have turned their global forces towards Savo National Park in an all-out effort to save this majestic land and the animals in it. IFAW experts have teamed with officials from the Kenyan Wildlife Service, KWS, in an unprecedented effort to develop a five-year plan that will set the stage for the long-term conservation of Savo's ecosystem and wildlife. About the size of New Jersey or Wales, Savo was established in 1948. Now more than ever, help is urgently needed to preserve this global ecosystem for future generations of animals and people. Before the big poaching started, there were 40,000 elephants, which is roughly the carrying capacity of this habitat. And now there are 9,000? 9,000. Yeah. 9, 9 wow. to 10,000. The plan will focus on five critical areas. The very vastness of Savo National Park makes it a haven for determined poachers. These ruthless killers enter the park from Somalia and other neighboring countries armed with high-powered weapons, including machine guns and rocket-propelled grenades. The building up of law enforcement to fend off these poachers has never been more critical. In 2003, a family of eight elephants was shot in one night, leaving only one lone female to survive the nightmare. KWS rangers tracked down the poachers and recovered the ivory they had buried. The poachers were caught, but tragically, Two rangers lost their lives. In order to continue the fight against poachers, park rangers are in desperate need of radio equipment, ranger vehicles for patrol, and training for more anti-poaching teams. A mere 200 rangers are responsible for this vast wilderness area. The funds are needed to hire at least 100 more. These dedicated individuals are forced to use outdated and inadequate camping and tracking gear in the bush. And crucial to their work is the need for more airplanes to track and monitor intruders in the park. Currently, Savo has only one much overworked aircraft to patrol park activities. The establishment of education programs to promote awareness and understanding of these growing problems is essential in supporting the work of park rangers and law enforcement. IFAW supports local programs such as this orphanage for young elephants, who will someday be released back into the wild and make Savo their home. Children who visit learn about the value of the ecosystem that supports these animals. Tourists gain a greater appreciation of African wildlife and we humans get back much more than we give.
This is one of the animals that are being protected up here by the Kenya Wildlife uh, Service. This shows what the, the Kenya Wildlife Service can do. It saves, saves elephants, elephants from extinction. As human populations grow, our ability to understand and appreciate the role that wildlife plays is perhaps the most important objective of all. Spreading villages, farmlands, and industry have reduced and fractionalized former animal habitats. Droughts have forced nomadic herders to seek additional grazing lands. Protective fencing is a pressing need, both for the farmers and the park. IFA is working with local communities to develop solutions that support this delicate balance between man and nature. The rebuilding of the infrastructure of Savo brings much needed revenue into the communities that surround the park, while supporting safaris and tourism. The roads in Savo are in terrible disrepair, and the machinery and vehicles to work on them are limited. IFAL has already presented Savo with six brand new Ranger vehicles, thanks to the generosity of donors, but many more are necessary. National Park headquarters are old and long overdue for renovation. And Savo's Ranger housing is in extreme need, providing the staff the heart and soul of Savo's protection with adequate living conditions is a top priority. IFAL is also working to create an ecological database to document and share information about this important ecosystem. This emphasis on outreach and education is a critical part of involving whole communities in the revitalization of Salvo. IFAL is leading the way, providing urgently needed assistance expertise, equipment, and training. The restoration of Savo promises to be one of IFAL's most important and enduring projects. And with your help, we can save Savo National Park and its wildlife. Please visit ifaw.org today.